Hey, True Believers Angling Teen here, and I hate Venom. I seriously hate the... Uh, he just... I hate Venom. Now look, I understand he's popular. He's got the movie coming up that nobody is impressed by. But holy fucking shit, I'm done with him. I, there's, there's nothing more that you could do to make me less interested in a comic book than to tell me that Venom's going to be in it. Now, don't get me wrong. I used to like him. As a matter of fact, back in the beginning when he was drawn by Todd McFarlane, holy shit, I enjoyed the fuck out of that. I thought, here's a character that everything Spider-Man has to throw at him, he's there. He's got it. So Spider-Man had to do some serious thinking to beat him. But... After he became popular, they came out with Lethal Protector and they decided they're going to make him an anti-hero. Then comes Maximum Carnage because you need another Venom. So they bring up Carnage, of course. And then the whole fucking Maximum Carnage shit because you need somebody worse than Venom with the same powers if you want a villain for him. Because now Venom is a hero, or anti-hero. And they have just... Every bit they've added on to Venom has been worse than the last. They and now fuck. There was what was that Edge of Venom verse or whatever the fuck one of the ten miniseries that came out last year. They had what T-shirt guns filled with symbiotes to shoot at people. It was fucking ridiculous. Venom has become a joke in my opinion, and I just don't see this changing. I mean, Jesus, Lord in heaven, what are you going to be doing next? And, and okay, so now they have a reboot. And this is rebooting off the last comic, which was way back in 2017, and it just ended. So, I don't know what to say. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, let's go into that one. It's bad. Okay, first of all, it's written well, like it's structured well. The art is good. I'm going to give it that much. It's, uh, and for a while, I liked the part where Eddie is struggling with losing himself in the symbiote. That tells me that there's a problem because, like I said, t shirt guns, <laughs> you get a venom, <laughs> you get a venom. It's freaking ridiculous. And that part was good. But then you come to the segment where they're talking about a whole fucking new origin. And this isn't some creature that came out of a mysterious machine, landed on Spider-Man, and now we've got this new alien, and he's something rare. Now, supposedly, they used it like the super soldier. So this thing has been around for a, a half a, a century or more. It's getting freaking ridiculous. They have literally spread the symbiote so fucking thin that it's lost all meaning. There's no horror to it because, well, okay, I got a, I got a symbiote now. I've got powers. They, but this is a Marvel thing. Now, granted, both companies have similar heroes: Batman and Robin, or Batman and Nightwing. They're basically the same character. You know, I mean, heck, for a while, Green Arrow was Batman just with a bow and arrow. So yes, they are. There have been people doing this, but Jesus Lord in heaven. Now it's just gotten horribly, horribly bad. The The new origin, well, goodness gracious. The fact that they used it to, to, to make super soldiers. It's just, I'm done. I am done with Venom the same way I got done with Deadpool when it was everything Deadpool. Now it's everything Venom. I'm, I'm over it. I'm done. I, I tried to read this. I tried to read this uh, subjectively. I was I kept an open mind to it. And like I said, I enjoyed part of it. And then they just had to come up and shoot themselves right in the friggin' foot. That being said, if you're a fan of Venom, I understand. Look, you know, I mean, no, not everybody has the same taste. Not everything annoys the people the same way. People uh, don't like Superman because they think he's too apple pie in Americana. Same thing with Captain America. Shit, Marvel didn't like Captain America because he stand for American ideals. So, yeah, you know, people like different things. I'm not going off on you if you like Venom. Congratulations and more power to you. I'm going to give this one to Chef Jack if we do any more Marvel versus DC. I don't think we're going to anymore. I think I'm going to cancel that. But if we do, I'm going to give this to Chef Jack so Venom has a fair chance on this channel. Because after this shit show right here, 
I don't think I can give them that fair shot anymore. I think I'm I, I, Venom broke me. I think this fucking book was just the cherry on top of the freaking Venom grenade. I am done. No, you know what really did it? No, it was the t-shirt guns in, in the last miniseries, shooting people with symbiotes. <laughs> fucking stupid shit. And then now they're like, hey, and we had it all the time, using it as super... God damn it. Yeah, how to ruin a decent character. Because, god dang, he was a scary motherfucker. In the old days, when Todd McFarlane, when Eric Larson was drawing, yeah, once upon a time, Eric Larson was not bad. And when he was drawing, the, 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 it was good. And he was scary, and he was a good villain for Spider-Man. But damn, in the last 25 years, they have it seems like they have tried and have damn well succeeded in making Venom one of the worst characters in the Marvel Universe. And, and this is a... a Marvel Universe that has Kamala Khan and, and America Chavez in it. Actually, Kamala Khan's not bad. She can have some good stories. They just decided not to. But America Chavez or gay... I'm sounding so prejudiced. <laughs> it's just Jesus Lord in heaven. I, I can't believe they did this to Venom. But at least there's a movie coming up. So we needed a number one. We needed a new number one to, from the, to, to reboot from the last because it was already up to, what, issue 12? <laughs> Marvel, uh, Marvel is like a master class in how to destroy a character. And I, uh, wow, this one and Deadpool, amazing. Anyway, I understand. I understand I'm going to be in the minority. I know a lot of people love villi vi villains. I know. Well, I used to like villains. Venom used to be a villain, but they decided to go and fuck them and not even give them a freaking reach around. Seriously, by the way, I like this panel. Like I said, the art is great. The beginning of this story, really good. The, the, uh, the, the struggle between Eddie and the symbiote, I liked. And then they just sweep the rug right out from under me. And I am done with Venom, guys. From here on in, fuck it. Chef Jack can review it, because I, I'm done. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? What did you think of the new Venom? What do you think of the way they're treating Venom or have for the last 25 years? And I understand there's going to be some fans out there. Once again, I'm not putting anybody else down. Because some things frustrate some people. They don't frustrate others. But by all means, tell me why you love Venom. And tell me if you are on the same page as I am. I want to hear from both, both crowds, by all means. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Put it down in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, you just click like, share to get the word out about the channel. And, of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, this is the way I'm trying to make a living. So if you don't mind helping us out, go on over to Patreon, drop a dollar in the till, and uh, help us to make these videos into get better equipment and software to make vet better videos. We'd like to thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.